What's up guys, Seb here, and today I'm just gonna go over the myth of the fat burning zone. So, uh, there's this misconception that uh, doing lower intensity cardio burns more fat than high intensity cardio. There is a bit of truth to that in terms of, well, there have been studies that show that um, they compare the, what you call, respiratory quotient levels of high intensity and low intensity cardio. So as the respiratory quotient increases, so as you do higher levels of higher intensity cardio, what happens is the percentage of calories burnt um, starts to go more from fats to carbohydrates. So when you do lower intensity cardio, the percentage of fats being burned is higher than high intensity cardio. When you do higher intensity cardio, the percentage of carbohydrates being burned is higher. But this does not take into account the total number of calories burned. So if you're doing the exact same level, so the exact same um, amount of time of low intensity cardio and high intensity cardio, then you will be burning a lot more calories doing high intensity cardio. So although there is this fat burning zone for low intensity cardio where you are burning a higher percentage of fats, with high intensity cardio you're burning more calories altogether, which means that you'll be burning more fat. So there is this little element of truth to it, but there is a misconception. However, low intensity cardio is not bad. It is still effective depending on what your goals are, which I'll go over in another video about the benefits and drawbacks of low intensity cardio and um, what you can use it for, okay? So yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed.